The India vs West Indies series has been an absolute roller coaster ride for the Indian team and fans. But wait, hold on tight because the action is far from over despite the West Indies taking a 2-0 lead in the 5 match series. The hosts have been on fire defeating the visitors consecutively in the second T20I on Sunday. Can you feel the tension building up? The stakes are high and India needs to step up their game with fearlessness and determination. Led by the dynamic Hardik Pandya, they are out to avoid a series defeat in the third T20I which is going to be played on Tuesday. But let's face it, it has not been an easy ride for India. The slow pitches have not been favourable for batting but the team should have found ways to score those extra 10-20 runs. The top order comprising Ishan Kishan, Shubman Gill and Surya Kumar Yadav has not lived up to the expectations in this series. Sanju Samson too, despite all the expectations, has struggled for big runs in the T20I series so far. Whereas Rukit Tilak Verma has been making waves being the only bright spot in the Indian batting unit. But here's the deal, the Asia Cup is fast approaching, although both are different formats, it's essential for the India's top order batters to find their form and get those runs on the board. There's no room for complacency, especially in a World Cup year and especially when you are down 2-0 in the series. Now let's talk about Hardik Pandya the captain. Some fans may not see him as a future captain, but hey, he's got potential. With a T20I win percentage of 66.7, he's proving himself as a leader. And he's got that cool guy energy exuding confidence even in the face of defeat. And we have to agree, he's grooming a young team with youngsters filled in it. But, and it's a big but, there have been some tactical questions surrounding Hardik. In the second T20I, when the West Indies lower order batters were struggling, he didn't complete the quota of his best bowler Yuzvendra Chahal who was spinning a web around the West Indies batters and that move raised eyebrows among fans and pundits alike. And he didn't even an over to Akshar Patel. The social media was abuzz as fans criticised Hardik for his complicated captaincy. As the series progresses, Hardik needs to find that perfect balance between his all-round and captaincy skills. It's a tough job to do but I guess he's up for the challenge. So India vs West Indies, it's a fierce battle and there's still hope for India to turn the tables. They need to rally together, play with passion and leave no stone unturned to clinch victory in this remaining T20Is. Can India bounce back in the T20I series? What do you think? Do let us know in the comment section and keep following the sports for more.